today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Oxford Market Antiques. It's been a few weeks since we were here last and they stock new stuff every week. So I'm not sure what we're going to find, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to find something to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. I literally just walked in the door and spotted this beautiful blue opaline oil lamp. There's some oxidation here, but 29 bucks. Yes, I think that's the first item we're gonna stick in our pile. And then I'm gonna take you guys up here without making you dizzy and look at this beautiful piece. $18 on that. Here's a dainty little purple bottle for eight. Look at this, $12 on this beautiful piece. It's got a little bit of a chip there. That's Crown Ducal. It's got butterflies on it. I like butterflies. And it's got this uh, pearl luster. Yeah, I'll take that as well. Oh, this bowl is stunning. Wow, that's beautiful. Cut ruby and then it's an amber. Twelve dollars. Okay. <laughs> Here's a really neat lacquer piece back here. Oh, it's like a chalkware. Ceramic. That was lacquer. It's a dragon of some sort. Eight bucks. Um, it's porous on the inside, so it's not glazed. I'm not sure how that would hold water, or maybe it's just decorative, but um Eight dollars on that. I think maybe we'll take that as well. Here's a rose medallion ginger jar. Let's see what the marking is on that. Mother and daddy from Mary Lou. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> um, it feels more contemporary. There may be a marking under that little note. But the fact that it has its lid, I find these all the time. They're always missing their lids. So I think that the fact that it has a slit is probably a selling point. Um, this is $9, so that also feels more contemporary. I could be wrong though. This is very heavyweight. A lot of the early rose medallion that I've handled has always been super thin. Um, let's grab this. Okay, looks like it could be BBP. Beaumont Brothers, let's see. No, it's an Eldrith. It's not Beaumont Brothers. I've noticed Beaumont Brothers has more of a brownish look to it, um, and Eldrith is usually more gray. It's $24, but we've done well with Eldrith in the past, so um, I think we'll take this little kitty to the checkout. All right, so I'm gonna poke around in this little... Oh, look, it opens right up. This little guy, oh, he's wooden. I thought he was maybe made from clay. A little fox, eight dollars. Also another little puppy in there. I've had this one before. Let's see what this is. Well, here we have a bird. Looks like a parrot for twelve dollars. It says um, Betty Joe. To Betty Joe. <laughs> they wrote it twice. To Betty Joe. To Betty Joe from. Sister Ursul. Hmm. I mean, I feel like that's really well done. Kind of crazy to think that it might be a hobbyist piece, unless somebody wrote that on the bottom with pen or a pencil. $12 for the bird. I don't see why not. This is a nice piece on the um, $4 shelf. I like the design of that, obviously. There's no markings on the bottom, but um, aesthetically, I find it pleasing. This is a very sweet little platter. Um, it's a little confusing because one child is wearing uh, winter clothes and the apples are on the tree. So maybe I'm thinking, does it represent different seasons? But anyway, uh, it says it's marked on the back and it's 
the marking is interesting. It's Burkhart hand bar, so handmade Burkhart. Um, it's very sweet. It kind of reminds me of the 1980s. I've never come across anything like this before, and I think uh, I think it's nicely made. So we'll take this with us. This cat is just delightful. I can't really turn it around because my hands are full, um, but I have a feeling it might be something good. So it's twenty-four dollars. I'm not sure if it's Eldritch or not, um, but I'm gonna check it out. It's marked HRP eighteen. So anyway, it's salt glazed. I I like it. So it's coming with us. Another piece I've noticed is this one right here. Um, oh, it does. No, it's not marked. Um, it's six dollars. It reminds me of a bronze piece we picked up at Finders Keepers. I think it was last year or the year before. Um, it was very similar to this, and that one was made by a, a special maker that it sold for really good money. So, um, this with the little bugs, you can see there's a dragonfly and also a little spider there for six dollars. Let's take it. What is this little guy? Oh my, I think that's made of glass. Oh, it's insane. It's a little glass kangaroo. It's not damaged. Hey, you know what? I think maybe we'll uh, take that little miniature kangaroo. I mean, that's something that you gotta watch for because it's easily lost. Better be careful I don't lose it in my stuff. These shelves over here are also um, two for seven. And I was checking out these little, uh, I would say scrolls, but they look more like, <laughs> they look more like skunks. And this is neat. Wow, look at that. She looks fancy. A little tin type. All right. There's a whole stack of them here. I'm going to check those out. All right, so let's go through these over here and check them out. Looks like we've got a little baby, another little baby. I'm surprised they were able to get those babies to sit still for the photos. All tin types. Wow, look at her. These are really neat, and they're uh, two for seven. I don't do a whole lot with photographs. But so I feel like those are are worth more than that, right? I don't know. I've never really done photographs before. This one's just a regular. Maybe I'll pick up the ten types. I did just happen to notice this guy over here. That's a really neat lamp. They've got fifty nine dollars on that. I love the look of it. Maybe the red with the green tarnish, but I can't tell if the green tarnish is. Um, I think the green tarnish is probably faux. But I feel like we need to get that done because I really like that lamp. All right, well, our total spend here at Oxford Market Antiques today was $436. I believe that's what it was. Um, right around there. Anyway, I got my pretzels from across the street at the Oxford Farmer's Market where they have wonderful goodies to eat. Um, and I'm going to head home. I wanted to go on to Avondale, but I'm worried about the roads because we do have snow and the snow is drifting. So I'm going to head straight home. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.